Hi, this is Austin Ryan, Solutions Architect with AHEAD, here today with a quick demonstration of some of the new capabilities that have been recently released on the vRealize 7.5 ITSM 5.0 plugin for ServiceNow. So let's hop into today's demo. So this is the current VRA portal that has been deployed uh, in the AHEAD lab. So this is what you would normally see um, available to you with the internal portal. Today's demo is going to focus using the Windows 2016 on vSphere. So here we have the Windows 2016 on vSphere blueprint uh, that has been defined uh, by the VRA admin. A couple things you have to fill out here to request this. The description, the reason for the request, and then diving down further into the actual Windows 2016 blueprint, you are able to select the number of instances, the number of CPUs you want to deploy, the amount of RAM. You can also utilize these tabs to define the storage, and then any kind of custom properties that have been defined uh, from the blueprint. So hopping into our demo here in the VRA portal inside of ServiceNow, you'll notice a few things offhand. Uh, we have gone through and customized this with our branding to allow it to meet our branding standards. Other than that, everything else has remained intact here for us. You'll see a few of the tabs here displayed at the top here. Uh, the system overview allows you to just take a look at any of the deployments that have been um, already utilized, any of the machines that have been deployed as part of the VRA environment here, any of the requested items that have originated out of ServiceNow, and then if you utilize the approval functions inside of ServiceNow, they will show here. So taking a look at our actual demo today, we're going to hop in and start looking at the catalog items. We want to deploy one of the Windows 2016 boxes here, so we'll open the Windows category. All of these are now uh, part of the request process inside of ServiceNow. They have um, catalog items that have been created for them. Uh, this was all done as part of the initial setup and implementation, um, and there was no additional work required uh, for us to actually have these um, as catalog items. They were imported successfully uh, directly into ServiceNow with no um, additional um, work from any of our ServiceNow administrators. So I'll go ahead and select the Windows 2016 on vSphere. Now that we have this item pulled up here, you'll see some of the similarities between the VRA portal and the VRA portal here inside of ServiceNow. We see the description and the reason that was provided. We also have the ability to change some of the parameters here. So if we want to lease it for two days for the demo, um, and uh, we will also want to do one deployment here. Um, all of these variables do follow the uh, blueprint that was defined, and so there were no other additional um, changes required here from us. We can go in and start customizing the actual vSphere itself, the deployment. Uh, we want to do four CPUs, and we want to give it the maximum amount of RAM that we can be defined. Final tab allows you to configure the disk. We'll use a standard configuration here, and we'll go ahead and submit that request. As it's been submitted, we'll go ahead and hop into our VRA environment and see this thing currently being provisioned. So we see this, the request that we did, the Windows 2016 on vSphere, and then we see that that's currently in progress. For the purpose of the demo, I've gone ahead and pulled up um, a, um, a deployment from earlier in the day. So we'll take a look here at the machine that I requested earlier. So this is the overview of the machine that was deployed here. With this machine pulled up, your teams will have the ability to perform any of the day two operation actions um, that are fined here. So they can suspend it, they can power cycle the VM, they can destroy it, unregister it, power it off, expire it, shut it down, reboot it, change the lease on it, reconfigure it, and create a snapshot directly from the VRA portal inside of ServiceNow. Thanks again for your time today. I hope you found this demonstration of the new features useful. If you'd like to learn more, please contact us and we can have a more thorough discussion. Once again, thank you for your time.